everybody. Welcome back, back to Mount Goat. Uh, I'm Carrie, and it feels like a long time since I've done a YouTube video for the studio, but I can't believe we're still in COVID. So, so here I am doing another YouTube video. So I hope you enjoy. It is kind of a mixed class of some hatha, a little bit of power, maybe hold the stretch a little longer, incorporating some yin. A little bit of a mashup class. I have a tough time kind of pinpointing what exactly one of my classes is, so we just kind of go with it. So I hope you enjoy. Um, if, you, if you have a block, that's great. If not, don't worry about it. A book or a, something that just helps you to lift your hand off the floor to give you a little bit more guidance in your balance poses is, uh, is just what you need. Okay, so we are going to get started. So if you want to grab a block, we're going to start at the top of the mat. Mountain pose. Nice and strong. Chest lifted. Grounding, a grounding through your feet. Tuck the tailbone in a little bit. Engage through the quads. Lift your shoulders up to your ears. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring them down away from your ears. Let's do that again. Inhale, round your shoulders up. Exhale, send them back and down, drawing your shoulder blades towards the, your hips. And we'll just breathe. In and out through the nose and incorporating the core muscles, especially the belly muscles in the exhale. So inhaling a soft belly. Exhaling. Find that subtle contraction to help you support the spine and support a nice tall torso. And also to kind of find your way onto your mat physically and mentally because there's so much going on in our minds these days. So let's take a few more breaths together, inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling one more time. And let it go. Turn your palms out. Inhale, take the arms all the way up. Exhale, fold over at the hips, nice and gentle. Soften your knees, let your hamstrings come to life. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, soften your knees, take your arms out to the side, using your glutes. Bring yourself all the way up, big stretch at the top, and exhale, arms down by your sides. Let's do it again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank pose. And then lower your knees, keeping your toes curled under. Let's work through a few cat cow curls here. Inhaling into cow, gentle drop to the belly, lift the tail, lift the chin. Exhale, round up like a cat, like a mad cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, really get into those toes. See if you can spread your toes a little bit to stretch your feet, then come up into. Last one, inhale, cow, and exhale, cat. Let's bring the chest back down. Take an inhale here. Exhale, just pick your knees up off the floor. Like you're just trying to hover them just enough to slip a little something, piece of paper under there. Just gonna start to activate the core muscles, belly muscles a little bit. And lower down. Bring your hands a little more forward. Take an inhale. And exhale. Press back a little bit more to puppy pose and kick up the knees. Now I want you to try to engage your glutes a little bit and engage your quads. Now 
and lower back down. Hold it here, take an inhale. And exhale, let's bring those knees back a little further. Pick them up off the floor, send your hips back, downward facing dog. Try your best to keep those palms on the floor in the same spot, but you can shift your feet around a little bit. So finding where your downward dog feels like an active resting pose. Such an odd concept. But for the first one, I want you to be super still. Just you inhale and exhale here. Inhale and exhale, press forward towards your hands, round up into that cat shape. Take an inhale when you get there, and an exhale, send your hips back. Really tone the belly as you pull your heels back and hips back. Let's do that one more time, warm up the shoulders a little bit. Take an inhale, and exhale, lift through the toes. Hug through the shoulders, pull forward, hold your plank and reach your quads, take an inhale, exhale, pull back to downward facing dog. And now take a very gentle walk with your dog. Press one heel down, press the other heel down, but slow, very mindful movement. One calf feels tighter than the other, just hang out there for a few breaths. Keep drawing your heart towards your toes. Your spread through the upper shoulders. One final inhale here. On the exhale, bend those knees again and press forward, stepping between your hands. It's almost like you're propelling yourself forward. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, walk your heels out a little further, your feet a little further, bend your knees and fall forward into ragdoll pose. Ragdoll isn't really a pose, it's more like a feel good release. So if you want, take an elbow in each hand, just create a little extra weight in the upper body. A few things to be mindful of, hamstrings are a good one. The hamstrings can boss around your lower back quite a bit. So if your hamstrings are tight and you're trying to do a bend on a forward fold, your back is going to feel a little funny because it's putting a lot of stress on it. So if you suffer from like really tight hamstrings and a little bit of a, a lower back that isn't as great as it could be, bend your knees in some of the forward folds. Don't think of it as cheating. Think of it as really taking the time to use the right muscles. Let them relax on their own time. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let's come out of ragdoll. Fingertips towards the floor. Pull your belly button in. Press into those feet. Use your glutes. And roll your weight all the way up to stand again in mountain pose. Bring your feet underneath your hips. We're going to flow through two sun salutation A. When you're ready, reach those fingertips towards the floor. Inhale, take them up to the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward, hinging at the hips. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale it back to plank. From plank, lower down. Let's take three very gentle cold lifts. Peel your chest on the inhale. Exhale, lower it back down. Lift your chest, lift your chin on the inhale. Lower it back down. Working in the back. Inhale, lift. Hold for just a pause. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, knees. Curl the toes, downward facing dog. So 
bend those heels back towards the floor, but just remember they never have to get to the floor. Just create as much length in your back as you possibly can. And then eventually the heels will just work their way down to the floor. Nice big inhale here. Exhale, step to the top of the hand, your mat. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, arms down by your sides. One more time. Inhale, take it up. On the breath, exhale, fold. Belly just lifting in as you fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale it back to plank. Fold to plank. Hold it here. We'll just use this opportunity to engage the quads, engage the glutes a little bit. If you want to make anything more challenging, on your uh, lowering down, you can take in what we call a chaturanga or a hover. Okay? You don't have to touch the floor. Or you can pick one foot up, float it in the air, and lower down. Okay, another option. If that is all too challenging, you drop the hands. All right, let's go on. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Your choice. Exhale, and we all meet back in downward facing dog. Nice big inhale here. And exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale, and exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale to a halfway lift. Really telescope everything forward. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, come on up. Strong belly, strong legs. Exhale, arms down by your sides. Perfect. Feet are hip width apart. Reach those fingertips down towards the floor. Inhale, just take a little lift to the sternum. So you're not just sticking your chest and your bum out. You're just lifting the sternum, like somebody's hands there and you're trying to push it off. And then drop down into your chair pose. All right, so let's hold it right here, shall we? We're gonna pull the belly in, gonna engage those glutes, engage your quads, and then swing. Swing the arms back for me. Neck and head are all in line. Swing the arms a little forward for me. Swing the arms a little back. Hold it here. Sink down a little further. Clasp your hands. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Spread through the chest. And then slowly, heavy in the heels, start to fold over your legs. And then depending on your hamstrings, start to straighten your legs a little bit. Pull those arms over your head but listening to your shoulders. You want a little extra something, something, you take an inhale to lift halfway. Exhale, pull that low belly in to guide you over your legs, your shins, and your nose and your shin are trying to become very much acquainted. Breathe. Inhale, release those arms to the floor. Exhale, take them up into your chair pose. Straighten all the way up and fold over, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale it back to plank. Lower down, your choice to hover or all the way. Inhale, your back bend, cobra or upward face. And exhale, we come back to downward. Let's step that right foot forward, left foot flat, and stay low in our warrior stance. Fingertips on the floor. Inhale, what I want you to do first is lift your chest. Just lift your chest up. Lower back down, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale down to the ceiling. Hold it here. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, arms to the floor, hands to the floor, sorry. Step your right foot back, plank pose, lower down. Inhale, cobra or upward face. 
Exhale back to downward facing dog. And we hold it here. Every time you come into your downward dog, see if you can feel something a little different. Engage the quads, engage the glutes. Take an inhale. Exhale, left foot forward, right foot flat, sorry, fingertips to the floor. Lift your chest. Take an inhale. And exhale, lift your chest. Use your glute muscles. Okay, lower your fingertips back down. Take an inhale. And exhale, lift just your chest. Now take your arms up to the ceiling. Big stretch. Sink down in that front leg. One more inhale, exhale, hands to the floor. Step your left foot back. Plank pose, lower down. Inhale, cobra or upward face. Exhale it back to downward facing dog. One big inhale here. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale to Halfway lift. Exhale, let's drop those hips. Arms to the ceiling. Chair pose. Sink down. Heavy in the heels. Feel that weight distributed a little bit further back. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, reach and lower your arms. Beautiful. All right, so let's move on from here. So I want to actually, we're going to take one more sun salutation B. And we're going to add on. So feet hip width apart. Take an inhale, take the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let's just step that left foot back, shall we? Now using that strength in the right leg, push yourself up to warrior one. Reach the arms, sink a little in that front leg. Outer edge of the back foot is rooted. Take your arms behind your back. Clasp your hands again for me. Spread through the chest. And then let's take a humble warrior. So you can come down as far as you can. But remember, you have to come back up gracefully. <laughs> and by gracefully, I mean using the right muscles to not strain your back. So you can start to draw that right shoulder down. Maybe it just hovers above the right shoulder. Maybe without sticking your bum out to the right, you come inside of that right leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold it here. Exhale, hands to the floor. Let's do the switcheroo from here. Take the right foot back. Take the left foot forward. Inhale your warrior one. Super strong, heavy in that left heel to come up. And then take your arms behind your back, clasp your hands, spread your chest. Lift your chin to keep your neck neutral so you're not doing this, you're not doing this. You're doing this. And then slowly, pressing strength through that back leg, start to drop into the inside of the left. Your, your version of Humble Warrior. Inhale, halfway. And exhale, hands to the floor. Step the left foot back. Plank pose. Take an inhale when you get there. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, Cobra or Upward Face. Exhale, back with strength in the belly, the downward facing dog. So let's take the feet a little wider in our downward dog, pinkies to the outside of the mat, long at the mat, pardon me. Take an inhale here. Exhale, start to walk your hands back to meet your feet. Turn your feet out so the balls of your feet are coming off the mat. And then inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, start to drop down into 
your squat pose. So if coming into this pose is tough, if you feel like I carry I'm stuck, I want you to just take a second, okay? Plant your hands, come down onto your knees with me, and I'm gonna show you a little trick. So when we sit all day, we're at 90 degrees. 90 degree ankle, 90 degree knee, 90 degree hip. Tight, tight behind the knee, tight, tight, tight in here. Makes it hard, right? The squat, because this gets cranky and your hips are like, I don't like this. Ankle is not working properly. So let's start from the ground up. If you have a tough time in your squat pose, roll your mat up just a little bit. All right, and get your heels on there. Start there. See if that little lift to the heel, kind of like a little lift to the bum when we sit up tall. Try it. Hands to prayer. Take an inhale. And exhale, drop down. See if that feels any better. And if it does, awesome, we've solved one little glitch in the reason that squatting has become so hard for us, because we're used to sitting. So get into this. You can put a block underneath your butt if you like. Try to lift your chest. Try not to come too far forward. Try to drop the tailbone and lift the chest. Elbows inside your knees. Take an inhale here. Exhale, put your hands to the floor. Press into your hands as you straighten your legs. They don't have to be perfectly straight, straightened. Take an inhale, soften your belly. And exhale, as you drop your hips back into your squat, Pull that pelvic floor up. Heavy in the knees. Shoulders down. If you're feeling super energetic, take those arms up and don't let the knees cave in. See if you can hold it without the strength of your elbows. Take one more inhale. Exhale, put your hands to the floor. Straighten your legs. Walk your hands forward. And then when you get to the top of the mat, you're gonna bring that right foot and put it on the outside of your right hand. Making our way into a high gecko pose. So I like my the heel on the floor and the ball of the foot off the floor. And I can get into that sort of inner thigh area a little bit. But we're gonna work a little strength in the upper body. So find a plank here. And there's a few options. You can stay right here if this is strong enough, or you can even take a break and lower your back knee. Or you can try something fun, pick up that right foot. Find your little half crow pose. Put your foot back down, hold it here. Now we're gonna do some push-ups. So let that knee come off of your arm so that you have some space. And then just bend your elbows and straighten your elbows, bend your elbows, and straighten, bend, and straighten. Take an inhale here, exhale, send that right foot back to meet the left. Come back to your downward dog, take an inhale, exhale, get that left foot beside your hand. Same thing, turn it slightly out towards the left. Stay right here. Working your gecko, lifting through the shoulders. Try not to sag and pinch your neck and all those things. Try to lift through the shoulders. Big source of strength through here that we completely under lose. Spread it, lift it. Pro power, this is what I call this. Pick up that left knee if you want, putting the knee on the, in, the outside of the left arm. Put the left foot back down. Hold it here. Let's do our push-ups. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Take an inhale. Exhale, let's step that left foot back to plank pose. Hold it here. Big inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your bellies. Give your arms a bit of a rest. Put one arm on top of the other. Can we just take a little breather here? Let me check my time. Ah, fantastic. Okay. 
exhale, I say break time over. Let's bring the hands beside the chest. Inhale to a cobra. Exhale onto your knees. Pull that belly in. Pull back to puppy pose. Take an inhale. And exhale, lift through the shoulders, ground up to cat pose. Curl the, co the toes under. Make your way back to downward dog. Step the feet in just a little bit. And then let's start getting prepped for some of our standing balance poses coming up. Okay? So we're going to take a nice big inhale here. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, arms down by your sides. Another little yoga hack for you guys is that whenever you are coming up, try to pull the mat apart with your feet. You're not going to pull the mat apart, but you're going to really use your outer hips and glutes to kind of work in. All right, so let's build some serious heat now, okay? Inhale, take the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale it back to plank. Let's fold the plank and then let's take a side plank. All right, so coming over onto the right side, you find your side plank. You can come down onto your elbow and take your side plank, or you can come over with a straight arm. You can stack your feet. You can bring left foot in front of right. But what I want you to work on, wherever you are, is not sending your bum back towards the right side of the mat and caving inward. I want you to work on drawing those hips forward a little bit. Get them trying to, in, to get in line with your heels. And then lift. This way, what you work is your obliques. When you start to rotate and send your bum back, that QL muscle in your back, it just gets tighter. The tighter it is, the less likely, likely you're going to recruit those obliques. So send those hips a little bit more forward. Big inhale here. Exhale, bring the left hand down. Ground or roll over onto the left side. And remember, you make it as hard or as not so hard as you want, okay? Don't ever get to the point where you're like, this is not feeling good. We want to stop before that. So send those hips forward. Reach that arm up. Or come down on your elbow. Or try a full plank. And as soon as you start to do these weird sticking your bum back, stop. Let it go. It's not worth it. If you can do it in a healthy way, shorter, and you'll build way better muscles. Take an inhale, exhale, bring your right hand down. Now, lower your right knee to the floor. Extend the left foot nice and long. Two options here, pivot the right foot off the mat or keep it in line with your left heel. Lift the left arm up to the ceiling. Open through the chest. Supported side plank. Should feel a whole lot more accessible than the full side plank. So we're going to start to prep a little for our half moon pose. So let's reach the left arm, turn the left arm down towards the floor, and take just a nice little stretch first. Root the left foot, the outer edge, so you're finding lots of length. Take the left hand back up, take a big reach on an inhale. Exhale, bring it to your sacrum or your left hip. Come into that right hand and pick up the left leg. Lower the left leg down, we're going to do this five times. Pick it back up. Lower it down, pick it back up. Lower it down, pick it up. That's three, four, just keep breathing, and five. Pick it up, hold it there. Half moon on our knee, 
bring the left foot knee in front of me and switch sides. Left knee and shin on the floor, right foot extends, plant that left hand, take the right arm up to the ceiling, find what it takes to balance here and open through the chest. Careful with anything that involves lifting your arm. You want to open through the chest to get the arm up, not swing the arm up and just hope for the best. So make sure you're always trying to open through the chest and let the arm fall where it wants to go when you get that nice opening. Palm down of the right hand, extend it over to the top of the mat. Take the right hand back up to the ceiling, press into that left hand, bring the sorry right hand down to your hip, lower and lift, lower and lift, lower and lift, two more times, lower, lift, engage that inner hip, lower, lift, lower and lift, hold it, take an inhale. Exhale, bring it back in to meet the left knee. Plant the hands, curl the toes under. Nice big inhale here. On the exhale, step the right foot between your hands. Turn the left foot out. And then nice and heavy in that front heel, lift up to warrior two. Wiggle your uh, front foot more centered if you like that. Drop down, open through those hips. Stay strong, strong shoulder blades, gaze down the middle finger, and then turn the palms up and drop the fingers towards the floor. Whoa. Wrists, how about a release of left leg up? Turn the palms back to normal, take an inhale, exhale, let's make our way into our side angle. Uh, right forearm on quad, down to the floor or onto a block. Left hand up to the ceiling. Make sure you're dropping into that right hip and then lift that uh, palm down. Take that left arm over your left ear. Bring it back up to the ceiling. Take an inhale. Exhale back up to warrior two. Windmill the arms down to the floor. Pivot around on the ball and left foot. Take the old switcheroo. Send the right foot back. Send the left foot forward. Do the old bogey. I'm just kidding. Right foot out. Take that strong warrior two. Wrong choice of top today. But I don't want to stop the video. <laughs> but I am kind of Irish flagish, don't you think? Orange top, green pants, green mat. I made my Maloney. Can't get the Irish out of me for too long. Sink down into that front leg. Outer edge of that back leg, foot is rooted. Strong warrior. Warrior is so great. Turn your palms up, drop your fingers, give a little wrist stretch. And then forearm onto your quad or hand to the floor. Right arm to the ceiling first, open through the chest. And then palm down, reach it over your ear, extended side angle. Keep that right glute engaged. Take an inhale. Exhale, come back up. Warrior two. Windmill the arms down to the floor. All right, are you ready? Step that left foot back. Lower your knees to the floor for a second. And make sure you have your block at the top of the mat. Just in case. Those hands, curl the toes under, get it back into your downward dog. And let's take a three legged dog. Float the right leg to the ceiling like there is nothing. Lift, 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 lift. Bend the right knee, trying to keep the shoulders square. Open through the inner thigh. Ting, ting, dog. If you ever do it out, you know what I mean. Nice big inhale, and exhale, extend that right leg, 
bring it through, place it in between your hands. Step onto the right foot, pick up the left. Keep your fingertips on the floor or on your block, okay? We're gonna do a little prep work here for the right standing leg. So I want you to level out your hips and then lift your left heel and then lower it just a little bit. Lift it up, even lift it higher than you would the hip level. Lower it down. Start to bend that right knee a little bit. See if you can get your right left toe to the floor. And then straighten the right leg. Pick the left heel back up. One more time. Lower the toe. Bend the right knee. Pick the left heel up and stay right here. I want that right knee a little bit bent. We're going to strengthen the inner thigh to help support the knee. Come up on your fingertips. Keep that right knee bent. Engage that left glute. Could you bring your hands to prayer? This is my second class today, okay? That's my excuse. Nice, you're probably doing better than me right now. And bring your hands to the floor. Start to straighten that right leg. And then turn the left foot out. Let's make our way into our half moon. So your block, your hand can be on your block or on the floor. And then you're gonna, again, your left hand can come onto your back, low back, or if you're steady, you take it up to the ceiling. Strong in that front leg. Barely touch the floor with that right hand if you can. Try not to put too much pressure on the bottom hand. Take the energy up to the top arm. One more inhale. Exhale, bring the left hand to the floor. Bring the left foot to the floor. And then let's stretch out that outer hip. So let's take an inhale to lift half leg. Exhale, put your right fingertips on the floor in front of the, sorry, left fingertips on the floor in front of the left foot. Straighten the right leg and sweep that right arm to the ceiling and pull. Get into the outer hip, maybe the IT band. Bring the top hand back down. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, let's do the other side. Let's take that right leg back, warrior three. Bend the left leg, lower the right toes, and then pick it back up. Pick it up a little higher. Lower it down to the ground. Bend, keep that left knee bent. Want that left leg, the inner thigh to get strong. Lower it down, pick it back up. And then keeping the left knee bent, bring your hands to prayer. Work your warrior three. Shaking muscles are good. And then hands to the floor. Externally rotate that right leg. Straighten the left leg. Make your way into your half moon. There's a full moon this week, so let's do half moon. That's what we're coming into now. A little less pressure on that bottom hand. And then bring your top hand down. Bring your right foot down, let's stretch up that outer hip of the left leg, bend the right leg, plant the right hand, straighten the left, take your sweep. Taking that left arm up, nice big inhale, exhale, bring it back down, plant your hands, step back into plank. Take an inhale here, exhale, lower down, inhale your cobra, or upward facing dog, and exhale back to downward facing dog. All right, so let's take one last standing pose, and then we'll get down and get prayer. Let's bring the right foot in between the hands. 
separate them a little bit, get off the tightrope, and then you're gonna lift up into crescent lunge. So when you're coming up, I want you to bend that left knee a little bit. All right, so take the arms up with a bent back knee. Sink the knee down a little bit, a little bit hip flexor, on back up, bring those elbows out to the sides of the cactus, lower down a little bit, stretch, come on back up, engage the left glute. One more inhale, exhale, bring your arms down by your sides, Take that left arm, hook it on the outside of the right leg, draw the right hip under a little, make your way to prayer twist. If you need to drop the back knee, go for it. If you wanna open it right up, take your left fingertips to the floor, your right hand to the ceiling, Stretch. One more inhale here. Exhale, bring your top hand down. Plant both hands. Switch a room. Right foot back. Left foot forward. Separate your feet a little bit. Lift up into your crescent lunge, softening through that back knee to drop it down a little. And then lift it back up. Inhale, exhale, drop it. Pull your elbows down into cactus. Press it back up this time. Last time, take one big inhale here. Exhale, lower the arms. Keep right arm across left leg. Options are prayer hands. Or if you're not too far forward on your thigh, you don't wanna fall off your knee. You're gonna take those right fingertips to the floor and the left hand up to the ceiling. You have to really draw the right ribs under and be pretty open to the chest. Once you get there eventually. One more inhale, exhale, bring that top hand down. Step the left foot back, take your feet nice and wide. Take a big inhale, exhale, lower the knees, pull the hips back, nice wide leg child's pose, rest your head, bring your hands as close as you want so that you get a very nice rest in the shoulders as well. Make your way back to your downward dog. Keep your eyes closed. Not yet through your front of the cat. Come into more of a table. Lift the hips back to downward facing dog. One big inhale here. On the exhale, step your front feet forward. You're going to take a little skip. Send them through. And make your way onto your lunge. Sit up as tall as we can in staff pose. So drawing the shoulders up, drawing the shoulder blades down and back. Press into the palms right beside your hips. And see if you can just lift your bum and take a little reposition. Almost like you're setting your hips back a little bit and then lift up. A cue to pull the flesh off your sits bones. Uh, it doesn't work for me necessarily because I don't have a lot of flesh there. So what I uh, would typically do, and sometimes when you do that, you can really kind of like pull your hip flexor attachment a little too tight or your hamstring attachment, pardon me. So I like to put my hands on the floor, pick my bum, and just kind of send it back. And then already I'm 
sort of tilting my tailbone backwards in intending next to begin the forward fold. So let's take that forward fold. Inhale the arms up to the ceiling, reach for the ceiling. Exhale, reach for the ceiling and the wall. And then look to your toes, hold it here. And then keep drawing your belly down and forward. And then when you get to where your hamstrings say, I'm done, reach forward, take a hold of something. Before you settle in, inhale to lift a little. Exhale, maybe you pull forward a little bit more. Try something a little different here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, if you do have your hands near your feet or on your feet, press your feet away. Whoa. Stretch the front of those ankles a little bit. But keep your shoulders lifted a little. If you say little, I'm nice a lot of times on this one. I watch something back, it's terrible. And then draw your toes back up. And then walk the time. Inhale, halfway lift again. Exhale, come all the way up. And let's just sit with that for a second. Sit with the residual effects of that pose. And then let's take our feet wide, within reason. You want to be able to touch your toes. I'm just going to move this block out of the way for now. And we're going to take a little, I call, I call this kind of walk, walk, walk when we do sides. It's a very, very technical term. All right, so let's take our right hand and let's just reach over to that right Left foot, sorry. And then walk forward, hand over hand, walk. Take your left hand over to the right foot. Keep your back long. If you, like I said in the beginning, if you have any lower back issues tonight, today, which could be today, not tomorrow, and uh, your hamstrings are tight, really stay up a little taller bend your knees a little and keep that back nice and long. Let's walk back, walk, 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 right hand over to left foot, drawing your right chest down over towards your left leg. And then let's walk, walk into the center, walk, walk. And see how it feels to take that wide leg forward fold. Inhaling to lift your chest a little, exhaling, maybe your elbows get down to the floor, Maybe not. Maybe you're way up here, and that's perfectly fine. I've been talking a lot this week, uh, if you are a friend of mine on social media of any sort, about how uh, sometimes a muscle needs to be stretched, but sometimes it needs to get stronger. My personal journey to get out of pain was to create a lot more strength in my lower body. Uh, my uh, my hips and glutes were not very strong, so therefore it caused a lot of lower back pain. So my journey to get stronger, or to get pain, less pain in my body was to become stronger. Now the stretching makes more sense because my muscles are stronger. Now walk back up. Sit with it for a few seconds. Like I said, I guess what I'm trying to say is there's a benefit to both. And then take your hands underneath your knees. Just guide them back in towards your chest. And then let's come onto our uh, uh, knees bent, palms, uh, hands flat. If this is hard on your wrists, turn your hands out a little bit. I want to come into a reverse table pose here. So options are to keep your knees bent and lift trying to get your hips in line with your knees, perfectly fine right here. Or if you want a little more challenge, you stretch your feet with your legs long. I would turn my hands towards my hips. It's much kinder to your wrists in general. Take an inhale, exhale, lift those hips, point those toes. Not an easy pose, but really effective to work your back muscles and your glutes. Lift, 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 try to hold it and lower back down. Let's do it one more time because I feel so nasty. 
one more inhale. Exhale, do it, lift, hold it as long as you can. Spread through the chest, lift the chin a little bit, and lower back down, that's as long as I can hold it too. All right, let's scoot our butts into the middle of the mat, we're doing fantastic. And put your hands on the side of your legs, and we are gonna make our way down slowly, and a little bit last kick of the core. So pulling your belly muscles in, take an inhale, and exhale, let's start to unwind slowly, slowly. Tailbone's down. It's like a, like your rockets, middle, your waistband's down. We're getting there. Low back's down. Keep pulling the belly in. Middle back's down. Upper back's down. Shoulders are down. Touch down. Hold it here, folks. Arms out to the sides. And then we're going to pick up our right foot. Cross it over that left leg. Keep your right foot flexed. And then draw everything in towards your chest. Figure four stretch. We're up to your six months old. <laughs> Much of a rear end shot in the camera. Just in case you're looking, you shouldn't. You should be just closing your eyes right now and feeling that beautiful stretch in the outer part of your right foot. Have to stay in an hour, but really, it doesn't matter if we go a little bit longer. Let's release. Bring your left foot to the floor. Take your right hand. Take the inside of your left, your right foot. So I'm Pull that right knee down in a half happy baby, but keep the left leg bent. You can leave it really in the juicy parts of your foot. The juicy bits. Release your right heel, extend your left leg, and we're just gonna take a very gentle supine twist. Right arm out, right leg falls over to the left. Just keep your left hand on the outer part of your right leg. We're gonna fall in towards the floor. Don't jam anything, don't pull it, don't. Just let it be. Always think when you're trying to force something somewhere, think about someone forcing you somewhere, right? Don't do that to your muscles, it's not nice. Just let them unwind. One more inhale here. And exhale, bringing that right knee back up. Nice and easy. Bring it into your chest, give it a squeeze, nose to knee, switch it up. Right leg stays bent, left foot crosses over, figure four to begin. Keep the left foot flexed and pull the whole thing in towards your chest. Inhale here, and exhale, release the right foot to the floor, take that left foot into a half happy baby, keeping the right knee bent. Extend the right leg, draw the left knee in a little bit towards the chest, and then just gently bring it fall over to the right, left arm falling over to the left. Everything ready to take on the chest and unwind everything 
Awesome. I encourage you to do what feels really good. Give yourself a few minutes to just feel so tempered, if that's the word, or just let it, you know, try not to think about anything, but don't drive yourself crazy not thinking about things either, because there's a lot going on right now. Let's be honest, right? We don't need to know. So if your mind is full of things, just acknowledge them and then say, I'll be back to you in a minute. If you need something in your head, think of the word own. It just means peace and it's a lovely word. So if all of the things come in, just say, talk to your inner and then say quietly to yourself, own. All right, so let's draw that left leg in. Nose to knee. Give it a little kiss. Say thank you to your knee for being so good to you today. And then extend your leg, I'm gonna call her. Extend your legs nice and long. Take your arms out to the side. This time I'm not gonna sneak off the ground. I'm gonna stay here. In Shavasana. Namaste, everybody. Namaste. Namaste well. I'll see you after. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you in the studio soon.